Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS video, we're going to take a look at how to set up and use the free and integrated voice chat system. In version 2.9, we've improved the sound effects, the ability to create your own radios, consolidated user interface, and much better configuration of the microphone. To get started, let's go to Options by pressing the gear icon at the top. From the Options menu, we're going to select the Audio tab. And on the left side, we have Microphone Test, with sliders for input volume and decibel limit. And to the right of that, we have Start Microphone Test. Test, test one, one, two, three, three. And stop. And when we did that, we could see how many decibels that we we're generating, and we could adjust that uh, based on the slider positions for both input and decibel limit. In the upper right portion of the screen, we can set our input and output options. And in all likelihood, most of you will be using headsets for voice chat. In this case, you'll want to set up your headphones and your microphones to your headsets. Just below that is dynamic radio options. And this title may change in the release version. Let's select that button. And at the top, we have a unit, which is a drop down, And we can see the different aircraft that we have in our install. In this case, I'm going to select the AH-64 Delta. And in the box below, we can see the radios that are assigned to this aircraft type. In this case, five of them. I'm going to select the uh, ARC-186 as an example. And we can see the uh, radio unit options here. And if we press the sound filter options at the bottom, here we can see all the different uh, sound parameters for this radio type. And at the very bottom here, we can actually test to see how each of these uh, parameters are going to sound uh, over voice chat. Now, in addition to these uh, pre-created uh, radios for the aircraft type, we can also create our own radios or even import radios from other aircraft, but that will be server enforced. So let's say we want to create our own. Let's uh, create, let's call it a 187 for the name as well as the file name. Create new radio, select it. And as you can see in the radio unit options, as well as the sound filter options, we can configure this however we wish. In the same manner, if we want to add a radio from a different aircraft to this aircraft, we'll do the drop down for the add existing radio. And here we can see all the different radios currently in DCS. Let's say I want to add a ARC 131, add existing radio, and here we are as well. Let's come back out. Last on this page, if we want to use voice chat in multiplayer, we'll need to make sure that the radio buttons for voice chat and turn servers for voice chat are both enabled. Next, let's go to the controls tab. Voice chat is directly tied to the radios in the cockpit, so you may want to configure controls to do things like transmit. Uh, let's look at an example. Let's bring up the AH-64D on the pilot seat. And then we'll bring up the category that has the radio controls. In this case, it's going to be on the cyclic stick. And first we have a PTT or press to talk, RTS switch, ICS, which is the intercom over VOIP or voice over internet protocol. And we can see that I have that assigned to a press on my throttle. And then below that we have PTT, RTS switch, radio VOIP, which is also assigned to a press. So if I press and hold uh, button 17, I will transmit over voice chat over the selected radio. Let's go to the very bottom of this list, down to voice chat. And the vast majority of this is the ability to configure up to nine radios. And this is mostly used for something like Flaming Cliffs 3. But at the very bottom, first we have show voice chat window. And we're going to see this in a little bit, and I'll give you a visual indication of how you have your radios configured and if you're transmitting. And at the very bottom, we have voice chat, push to talk, mic. And this is going to allow you to transmit over a common channel to your coalition or over a private channel. But we'll take a look at this in a little bit. Let's come back out. Okay, so let's take a look at voice chat in action. Uh, first, with the AH-64 Delta, uh, I'm going to bring up the voice chat interface, but again, it's just an option. You don't need to have this up. And you'll see that the uh, five radios are listed in the interface, which match the five radios listed on the EUFD. 
Uh, the current uh, radio is highlighted, in this case the VHF AM, because it is a selected radio on the EUFD. But if I were to change the radio uh, using the RTS switch, say go to VHF, you can see the VHF is now highlighted on the uh, voice chat interface, FM1, FM2, HF, and then back to VHF. Uh, we can also use the uh, EUFD to change the channel and frequency. So in this case, I could go to the uh, preset. Let's use the uh, WCA rocker to go to 121 and enter. So now you can see on channel 6 on 121. To transmit on the radio, I'm going to press and hold the radio transmit VOIP button, which we talked about before. And you can see the uh, red square indicates that I am transmitting over that radio uh, but because I have no friends it's red there's someone else in the mission but if there was a valid person to receive it uh, it would be green if I release I stop transmitting press again also notice at the very top we have uh, radio PTT or radio press to talk and I PTT for intercom uh, press to talk and both of those are highlighted if instead I press the intercom transmit. We can see that the intercom at the bottom is now highlighted. Again, red because there's someone else in this mission with me. And also the IPTT is boxed as well because I'm transmitting over the intercom and release. You also have the ability to use encryption, uh, meaning that only uh, players on your coalition and on the same encryption channel would be able to receive uh, messages from you. So if I wanted to encrypt VHF AM, I would box encryption. Then I could set the channel to a specific channel of that encryption for players on my side. Last, let's take a look at the voice chat room system. And to get there, we're going to press the transmitting radio icon here at the top. And like we talked about before, we're going to have rooms for common basically everyone in the mission coalition everyone in your coalition and in this case because I'm in a uh, two-seat aircraft I see the other person in my aircraft uh, through the intercom but again because it's just me there's no one listed there and of course the other option is going to be a private room now to create a private room we're simply going to create a name for the room say test add it using the add button here we can add users again just me so there's no one to add to it uh, but if I did then we see them listed within that room and if I wanted to delete the room entirely I can just uh, click on the red trash can at the top we have options for a push to talk which is based on the key that we defined earlier in the uh, control setup basically a mic on which is a hot mic and off and back to push to talk. Before I let you go, let's look at one more example, in this case, the F-16. So I will display my voice chat interface. Again, 100% optional. And if I want to transmit over the UHF radio, I will press and hold the UHF radio button transmit. And we can see that indicated both on the DED as well as on the interface. In this case, over channel one on 305, and also radio PTT is boxed and release. And the same thing, if I want to transmit over the VHF, I will press and hold the VHF radio transmit button. You can see again on the DED as well as the interface and release. Now, it's worth noting that this is still very much a work in progress and there are uh, additional items we still want to add. In particular, uh, the ability to interface with some very powerful user created tools. So folks, I very much hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.